Hello, about over installing Mini Unicron. As I already mentioned in my unboxing video, Starlink Mini supports voltages in range 12, 48 volts. That's why it's possible to power this device directly from a 12 volt socket of any car, 16 volt Teslas, or even 48 volt Cybertruck. For internal combustion engines car, make sure that there are no voltage drops below 12 volts level or any voltage instability, because in this case your Starlink Mini may rebut unexpectedly or your connectors may overheat. It's important to verify. Uh, so, to power this device from uh, your car, you can use the simplest solution. Here I have a cable uh, with a, a standard 5mm DC barrel jack from one side. It fits nicely in Starlink. And from the other side I have uh, this uh, standard uh, lighting plug. Just uh, make sure that your plug is the uh, best quality uh, you're able to find. It's, uh, it's important because uh, any cheap quality plug may overheat or even melt. So, uh, so just for safety reasons, uh, find the best you, you can find. Uh, in this video, I connected my multimeter uh, to the, my wire. So, I will measure power consumption during Starlink Mini booting and active data transfer operation. Uh, so let's see how it works. So Starlink Mini is already installed on a dashboard of my car. So let's power this thing up and measure the initial power consumption. So we have 3.2 amps or even 3.3 .3 amps on start, but uh, it will drop after booting. Now Starlink Mini should be already online, so let's measure power consumption during active data transfer. The Starlink Mini is online, and here is the consumption with the minimal data traffic. Now I will run a speed test directly on my car. The car is connected to the Starlink Wi-Fi. Here as you can see the ISP is SpaceX Starlink and point of presence somewhere in Berlin. And also I have uh, a German advertisement. So let's run the speed test. Okay. receiving data and the top current consumption it looks like 2.3 amps and now transmission oh what the hell <laughs> it's looks like we had some problem. Well, let's run it again. Yeah, this is more realistic. So the top consumption is uh, three three point one amps. So this is our results. Thanks for watching.